Welcome back to you and part seven. It's the after when you complete all quests. Come back to this guy. It will be my honor to show you the ready charges for the work. That choice is yours. And then we ended one of the men. You can go hear the juice directive. This is a high honor. See, you do not take it lightly. Here are wondrous tidings are risen. The Duke is to grant you an audience. His Grace wishes to commend you for your valor and your service to the land. Know, however, that any errand you have taken on will be left to another to complete. You will also be asked to return your writ of permission to join the hunt. If you have aught left undone, pray tend to it before you come to see the Duke, sir. I must be clear. Your audience with his grace will put an end to any current tasks. You will be asked to return your license to the worm hunt. Knowing that, are you prepared to seek his grace now? So basically saying if you want to complete them quests you, you have to do them before doing this part. And you are quite certain. No tasks left incomplete, no need for the license to the hunt. You are quite certain no tasks left. No need for the Understood. Then pray. Enter the castle, sir. A guy that waits within to see you for his grace. I changed the vocation to magic archer. Majestic archer, some of them. I cannot accompany you to the duke. Regulations forbidden pawns from entering the Duke's castle. When you visit the castle, your pawns will wait outside and rejoin you when you leave. Stabs him there. By my command, every road in Francis shall be open to you henceforth as a member of the world. <coughs> May your efforts help deliver us from the shadow of the as long as that damned beast wolf breath our claim accept any. See the royal order 
Jesus. Seth with you. Dear Gloria, you are to see your face austere as the castle walls adorned with this. <laughs> Still, it is more agreeable than the endlessly dour air of most of my husband's sorry swords. Valor dwells in the heart, after all. The brave ought not need their raiment to speak to them at all. No? By decree of the Duke, you were to be allowed free passage into the castle. This right extends only to your person. You are advised to comport yourself fittingly. A grievous breach in conduct will see you removed from the castle, or worse. You will take your orders from the Duke's Chamberlain, Aldous. Speak to him for further instruction. May the Maker see you on to further glory, sir. How fared your audience with his grace, Arisen? Aldous Ludric Sorn at your service, sir. I serve as a Chamberlain in the Duke's court. As you may have seen for yourself, it seems his grace is... Well, in truth, there is worry enough to make any man's head ache, but I fear he ails of worse than worry. Perhaps I ought not speak further on the matter, but for my own well-being. I am charged with assigning royal orders, tasks of great import issued by the Duke himself. Pray forgive the bother, but I ask that you come to see me here in the castle whenever circumstances allow you to take on assignment. The future of this war is murky, sir. May your efforts help to bring its end into sight. Having got a duty met it and royal orders. Seek out Cumberland. This is all you're missing. Yeah. Oh, James. Your full and immediate attention. And pray, make your choice, sir. Your audience is an important trend. Here's the corpse and I'll hunt to it. It's no doubt you're aware the roads are ever more overrun with beasts of every stripe. The threat has only worsened since the dragon's coming. Trade has suffered, citizens have died. A company of the land's finest sword hands have been gathered to thin the creature's numbers. It is no perfect solution. It's a start. I would ask you to join them, sir. Thanks, sir. There's been no end of reports of caravans bearing tribute bound for Grand Soren <laughs> being waylaid by monsters. Among them, the direst threat is posed by the Griffin. It is not a creature easily quelled, but we can ignore it no longer. Hence the company of elites. And now it seems they are prepared to face the beast. They stand in wait outside the castle gate. Go and speak with them for further detail. This may be a long battle, sir. May the maker be your sheep. Be with the volunteer.
fucking screen. Hope you enjoy this playthrough. You'd best ask what the men of the core have found. Well uh, met, sir. Just know that Griffins hate fire. An ally who can conjure flames will be a great asset. How does he know that? Hey, best one. These stairs serve as a useful tool in their own mind. Shame if they put on all the power. The Duke's men are assembled. Let's hurry to join them. On a feeling you might be <coughs> our escort. Aye, we are the company of elites you're to march with. Or jest, I know. We'll circle the capital, striking the griffin as we come upon it along the way. We attack when it sets down. There's nothing so clever as to be called a strategy. But it will work. If you still care to join us after hearing all that, let's be off. I've learned what to do in this quest. We share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other folks. Elite to hunters of foot. I feel better at ease with a few more men. Found out what the problem was from a storage. It was um, the one drive. They keep saying the video for some reason. Would it come down if we made it? We cannot reach it at that height. Seems all roads lead to rest. Clear your mind of all but the fight. Be sure to carry your weight. No, for Vega.
Thank you. 